Moxie Media presents Security Awareness for the Offshore Oil Industry, a training program designed for offshore oil employees and contractors to meet the requirements of the United States Maritime Transportation Security Act and the International Ship and Port Security Code. Since the terrorist attacks in the United States on September 11, 2001, the world has reached for a heightened level of security awareness. The offshore oil industry that we work and live in In response to terrorist threats, the International Maritime Organization, a division of the United Nations, along with various governments throughout the world, have developed maritime regulations designed to help companies and ports deter terrorist activities. In the United States, the Maritime Transportation Security Act, referred to simply as MTSA, was enacted by Congress in 2002 to protect the general public and maritime interests by deterring and preventing future terrorist acts. The International Maritime Organization, referred to as the IMO, has developed the International Ship and Port Security Code, ISPS, which prescribes mandatory security plans, actions and training for the maritime and offshore oil industry. The first piece of information you need to know about is the different threat levels that have been developed to apprise the general public and the maritime industry communities of the current terrorist threat potential. The maritime security regulations require owners or operators of offshore facilities, vessels, and modus, mobile offshore drilling units, that are required to comply with the regulations to develop a facility or vessel security plan. Within the offshore oil industry, there are generally two ways in which you are transported to your job site, by crew boat or by helicopter. You may notice that you will encounter increased security procedures by heliport or crew boat personnel before boarding offshore support craft. These procedures are now required under the maritime security regulations and your cooperation is required and appreciated. Whether you are an employee, contractor or visitor to an offshore facility, it is important that you are aware of behavioral patterns and characteristics associated with persons who may threaten security. Some of the characteristics and behavioral patterns that you should look for may include It is also important to pay attention to activities that appear irregular or suspicious. All personnel and contractors should be on the lookout for activities that seem out of the ordinary. While waiting for your flight or boat ride at the heliport or boat dock, some suspicious activities that you should be watchful for include In order to deter or prevent a security incident, you must be alert for methods that are used by terrorists to bypass or get around security measures used to protect offshore facilities and vessels. When working offshore, you must be observant and aware of your surroundings, both at your land-based transportation site as well as your offshore facility or vessel. Be attentive and respond with caution to the following scenarios. All personnel, including contractors, should be familiar with recognizing and detecting dangerous substances and devices that could be used to launch a terrorist attack. As mentioned earlier, weapons, explosives, incendiary devices, and contraband are prohibited on offshore installations, platforms, vessels, and helicopters. Bombs are the weapons of choice for terrorists. They can be easy to construct, simple to transport, quick to conceal, and easy to position. The initial objective in any emergency is to protect all personnel from harm or injury. It is important that all facility personnel, contractors, visitors, aircraft personnel, and boat crews are notified and accounted for as soon as practical. The facility or vessel security plan will designate emergency response duties to specific facility personnel. 
It is essential that emergency response personnel are well trained and practiced in emergency response procedures to ensure a safe and timely reaction in the event of an emergency situation.